welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my very first impressions video and it's going to be on none other than the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. I am very excited to give this a try because I have heard nothing but good thing about nothing but good things about this so I definitely wanted to give my version of a first impression because as you guys can see my face needs a lot of coverage because I do have a lot of acne scarring and acne in general and discoloration in my skin so I thought this would be the perfect time to go ahead and do my first impression and my little mini review. Now if you guys hear any little noise or the TV going that is my son just do playing a little bit and watching some TV but anyways now some of the things that this foundation claims to do is to combat under eye circles Redness and other skin imperfections with this full coverage water resistant foundation plus concealer in one. A no mess, no drip pump dispenses just the right amount of fluid needed to achieve a flawless look and works around the clock to keep your skin looking naturally and perfect. It does come in 14 shades and the price is around $9.99 of course depending where you get it but I did get mine at Walgreens and it was $9.99 and I am going to be doing half of my face with two of my favorite ways to apply my foundation which of course is the Beauty Blender and then my Sigma Flat Top F80. So we'll do this side with the brush and then this side with the um, foundation or with the sponge I'm sorry and then I have already primed my face and I am going to be using just the normal products that I would use on an everyday basis. I don't want to try anything else new with uh, this foundation. I just want to stick to what I know so I can get the best um, review and wear out of this foundation. And this does come with a pump and I purchased the color Sand Beige. So this actually might be a little bit too light for me. But again, I'd rather go lighter than darker because you can't really fix a dark foundation. But if you go light, you can always fix it up with some powder. And I don't contour or um, bronze, but I could make it a little darker with my um, blush. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and pump some of this on my little container that I usually use to apply my foundation with. And it just looks like that. It is very thick and it is not falling out, so it's not runny. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Flat Top Kabuki um, on this side. Oh, so this actually is way... Well, blend it in it's not too too light I don't know here let me zoom you guys in I hope you guys can see it looks light at first but I feel that once I blend it in it doesn't look bad at all and I am looking right here because my mirror is right here and I don't have anything in front of me where I can see myself, but yeah, so it is actually doing a very, very good job at concealing and covering up. Like it is doing a very, very good job. It does feel like very thick and kind of, it feels kind of hard to blend with a brush. But so far I'm liking the coverage and I even really like the color like a lot. So that is with the brush. And that is one application. So I got a pretty, actually very good amount of coverage. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more on my cheeks to see if I can build it up without it being a little too cakey. So let's just go ahead and try that. And also, for it being so thick, it doesn't feel like 
I have a thick foundation on, if that makes any sense. So let's just go ahead and try to build it up. And again, I just mainly need the coverage around my cheek area. Okay, so it definitely did give me some more coverage right there, if you guys can see. I'm still mind blown that it doesn't feel too heavy, especially with a brush, because you know how you get um, more coverage with a brush? So it doesn't feel too heavy. Like, I don't know, it's so weird. Especially for that coverage. Oh, I'm very impressed so far. Now we're going to go ahead and do it on this side with the Beauty Blender. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it right here on my little disc. And then dip my Beauty Blender in. And I'm using the viewfinder right now to uh, see. So I'm not really, I can't really tell what I'm doing, but I want you guys to see. All right, so that is this side with the beauty blender. And as you guys can see, you still see a little bit of my acne scarring peeking through versus this side. You can only, you can like barely see it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I definitely got more full coverage with the brush and I usually get more full coverage with the sponge, but in this case, I did get more full coverage with my brush. Again, I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can build up the coverage with the Beauty Blender, so I'm going to go ahead and add one more layer. And again, I'm looking over here because I have my mirror right here. And it actually did give me more coverage. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in person, I can definitely tell it did give me more coverage with that second layer. So, so, so far, I am loving it with both of them. I do get a lot more coverage with this. But you can also build it up with the sponge. So I am definitely digging this foundation so far. And I, I'm telling you guys, I still it still feels like I don't have a full coverage foundation on. Like my face is still very like movable. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. Like sometimes when you wear a super thick foundation that's full coverage, like you can't really like move like in your center of your face or like it feels weird and caked up. But this does not feel like that at all. I am definitely loving it so far and I'm very impressed. And honestly, I'm not saying this just because everyone else thinks it's so great because I'm the type of person that is very skeptical about trying new things because sometimes things that like other people on YouTube like really rave about and then I go ahead and try and I absolutely hate it. But so far, I am definitely loving this foundation, but of course, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup, and then we're going to go on with our day and see how it looks throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup, and I'm going to come back on, and then we'll go over my pre-final thoughts, I guess you can say, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do the day or the wear test. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I finished with my makeup and you guys, I still absolutely love it. Like, take a look for yourself. Like, it is amazing. My blush was easy to apply. My highlight was easy to apply. My powder was easy to apply. So, I absolutely love it so far. We still do have to do the wear test, but... Um, yeah, I love it, and I actually am content with the color. I mean, I could go a little darker, but like I said, I'd rather go lighter than darker because I can definitely fix it up with powder. But anyways, so right now it is about 
let's just go ahead and say four o'clock I don't know if that's focusing and I will go ahead and go on with my day well with the rest of the evening I know it's a little late but I'll definitely try to wear this as much as I can but anyways I will check back in with you guys in a couple of hours but I'm so excited I have high hopes but I will be back. Hey everyone, so it is now 7.09. Again, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's 7.09. And when I applied this makeup, it was actually 4 or around like 3.50 or around that time. So it's been a good three hours and as you guys can see it it still looks amazing. My blush and my highlight are still on there. Um, I personally don't see myself oily, but I think that the camera is making me seem a little bit more oily because I think my highlight finally settled in. So this right here on my nose is just my highlight, but as far as me like looking at myself, like I don't feel the need to blot or powder. So three hours in and I think it still looks amazing. It feels good. It doesn't feel too cakey on my skin. The one thing I will say is that it will cling to dry patches obviously because it is more of a mattifying powder. So I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick that up. But right here I kind of see it clinging on to a little bit of a dry patch that I do have right there. But that doesn't really bother me because you can't really tell unless you're like, like up close and personal. But so far so good. I am loving this. So I will check back in in a couple of more hours for my final thoughts. and I have been wearing this this foundation for around seven to eight hours and as you guys saw from that last clip I did powder my face because I was getting pretty oily and as you guys can see right now I do have a little bit of oil but I don't need the I don't feel the need to powder like I would be completely comfortable leaving it like this um I all I can say is I absolutely love this foundation I did have high hopes for it but at the same time I was kind of iffy because I am very very picky with foundations because I do like something that will give me full coverage and this definitely gave me that and um yeah as you guys can see my blush and my highlight is still on and I still have that full coverage as well so um, I, from a 0 to 10 I would definitely give this a 10 and I'll definitely recommend this to anyone that loves full coverage foundations and has oily skin. Um, I have nothing but good, good things to say about this. I mean I did have to touch up but, but hey whoever has oily skin who doesn't have to touch up you know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my first first impression and don't forget to like this video if you guys did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!